I can't wait for you guys to see the house. It's in the middle of nowhere. That is part of the charm. Cool or what? You've got to be kidding me. April, enough. I think it's cool, Dad. Thank you, buddy. Do you like it? It's filthy, but gorgeous. I love it. Mm, I promised you a beautiful house, not a clean one. Hey, why don't you guys go check out your bedrooms? Through that door, immediate rights at the end of the hall. I'm gonna show your mom upstairs. Can we see upstairs? Uh, not yet. Still got some work to do. Make sure it's safe. So this could be a game room. Put a pool table over here, maybe a table for board games. That sounds good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. More to see. Now with a little TLC, this room will be beautiful. That'll take a little more than that. And since we're starting from scratch, you can design it however you want. It's freezing in here. And once we get the insulation put in, it's gonna be fine. But it's 100 degrees outside. It's an old house. Old houses have cold drafts. Once we get a little work done, it will be perfect, I promise. This is going to cost a fortune. Honey, you don't get a four bedroom house on our budget if it doesn't need a little bit of work. Why did the last owners finish the place? Who knows? Ran out of money. They lost our game. Ooh, you're sexy when you're heartless. Oh boy.
I'm sorry I don't have a nicer breakfast for my big strong men, but I promise as soon as I'm done unpacking this kitchen, I am going to make you a giant stack of blueberry pancakes. Mm, that sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. I like burritos. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to get home as soon as possible, help you unpack. No, don't rush, just focus on making a good impression. And you, young man, you better behave yourself at school today. Honey, don't you want to get a little dressed up for today? No. You might meet some cute boys at school. Everyone says that boys from Savannah are real gentlemen. Doubtful. I'll be in the car. Really? Cute boys? We don't have enough problems as it is? Mm -hmm. What? Uh, mm. Get to work. Mm. Thank you. You. Let's go. Bye. Got your bag? All right, come on. Have fun. All right, I have heard some really great things about this school, and I think you guys are gonna make some good friends here. I already have great friends back home. I already made a friend. All right, come on, get to school. Hey, buddy. Glad to finally have you on board. James Welland. Eric Rancourt, appreciate it. Heard you coming to us all the way from sunny California. But you got tired of all the fruits and nuts? <laughs> no, not exactly. Uh, work dried up after the housing market took a shit. This was the best offer I got. Well, you definitely have your hands full with all the historical societal regulations of this place. The city's not too fond of changing things. Yeah. It'll be a challenge. But I really like fixing up these old houses. Hmm. Oh, good thing. Seeing as I heard you just moved into that old house on, uh, what, Fort Argyle Road? Yes, yeah, a little rough around the edges. But it's a nice house. I'm just glad to see someone's finally in it. Been empty as long as I can remember. Dr. Pettimore referred me to someone here in Savannah. He said it was really good, so I made an appointment for later this week. That's great, honey. I have a really good feeling about this move. Me too. <laughs> me too. Sweetie, time to get up. Damn it, Andrew! Stop taking things out of the trash! Bye, sweetie. Have fun at school. Yeah, right. She'll come around.
I hope so. I love you. I love you. Thanks, sweetie. I love you, and I'm sorry that I yelled at you. She doesn't like the dark. What? Would you hurry up? Bye, Mom. You know the difference between a city boy and a country boy? No. A city boy walks up and sticks it in. Whereas a country boy sticks it in and walks up. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> then why are you laughing? <laughs> okay. It's a little funny, but it's certainly not appropriate. Oh, I ain't known to be appropriate. You got plans tonight? Other than watching American Idol reruns? Nope. Why don't you and your wife come over for dinner? Rachel needs to meet some women here and give you a chance to see the house. Sounds good to me. Hello? Hey, babe. Hi, um... Look, I invited a friend and his wife to dinner tonight. Yeah, I mean, the house is a mess. Oh, the house is fine. And you know I have my doctor's appointment this afternoon. It'll be fun, all right? We need to meet new people. Yeah. I can, I can pull something together, no problem. Okay. Uh, just, honey, a little more notice next time. Okay, babe, sure. Okay, thanks. All right, I love you. Love you. Great. Rachel, what brings you to Savannah? We were looking for a fresh start. So when my husband was offered a job here, we thought, why not? Fresh start usually has more to do with you as a person than where you're living. I suppose. We suffered a tragedy in our old home. And it just reached a point where I couldn't stay there any longer. What was the tragedy? We lost our little girl. I am so sorry to hear that. We have... We had twins, Andrew and Alice. She had just turned seven when it happened. Loss of a child is a devastating event. How's your family coping? The last six months have been really, really hard. Everything changed after she died. It's understandable. How have things been since the move? Better. Things seem better. Rachel, listen, I don't care what Eric says about you. You are a great cook. <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard it is being married to a comedian and a bad one at that? Oh, burn. Well, I think you're a very lucky woman, Vanessa. Oh, now you hear that, babe? She said you basically hit the lottery when you caught me. Caught you? Yeah. Um, as I recall, you chased me down for three months before I finally decided to go out on a date with you. Some details. <laughs> So, Vanessa, James says you have a very colorful family. Oh, yeah, uh, well, they're black. <laughs> I didn't mean that. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. <laughs> well, my family was brought here from West Africa, and damn good recipes for black eyed peas ain't the only thing they carry with them. What do you mean? Oh, they brought their ancient African religion. Really? Oh, yes, and it is still here. My grandmother, she's a hoodoo priestess. She has what they call the shine. Dude. The shine. That crazy old woman thinks she see things. Like things that ain't there. It's true. She can see into the spirit world. Okay. That's cool. You, you don't you don't believe that stuff though, right? I don't believe it. I know it. That's a babe, don't start. He asked. Okay, yeah, because she thinks she got them magical powers too. <laughs> okay, they're not magical powers. I'm just more spiritual. So I can sense things. Not like my grandmother, but little things. Like what? Well, that's hard to describe. Um, you know how sometimes you think you might see something move out of the corner of your eye? 
I guess. Sure, yeah. Well, my grandmother taught me to look at it, to actually see it. You know how some men say that their wives are crazy? Mine's is like actually crazy, <laughs> like actually. <laughs> no, I don't think it's crazy. I, I actually think it's kind of beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, no, buddy. Oh. Come here, come here. Come on. Okay, sweetie, come on. Are you feeling better? He made her angry, Mama. Go, oh, baby. How are you doing, sport? I'm okay, Dad. You have dessert? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for coming over. Ah, absolutely, man. Nassau, it's a pleasure. Eric, stay out of the basement. There is a darkness there. I can feel it. I think you heard too many ghost stories. Maybe we don't even have a basement. <laughs> yeah, babe, let's save the voodoo talk for your superstitious girlfriends. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. No worries. <laughs> have a good night. You too. I don't want to come back here. Are you sure you don't want to come? There's so much to see here. It'll be fun. No, thanks. I'm going to read my book and pretend I'm back home. April, this is home now. Uh-huh. So what are we going to do about her? There's not much we can do. You can pray for her soul. What? what? Hi. Who are you? I'm Lilith. I live around here, so I thought I'd say hi. Hi, I'm April. Room for me? Um, uh, sure. I am so glad you moved in. It gets lonely here. Tell me about it. No more being lonely. Hey, I'm gonna go get us a surprise, okay? So hang here with mom, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Hey. Remember what you said in the car about praying? Uh-huh. You know we're not really the kind of family that does the whole God and religion thing, right? I know. That's part of the problem. What? Someone dies and their soul is broken. They don't get to go to heaven. They have to go to the dark place. Hey, sweetie. I don't know where you're hearing this stuff, but... It's not true. Yes, it is. You know it is. There is no dark place. And when someone dies and none of us have to worry about that for a very, very long time. But when they do, they just go to sleep. But sometimes they wake up. 
Surprise! Damn it, Eric, you scared me. I'm sorry, babe. Does this make up for it? Cotton candy. Yeah. Come on, there's a lot more to see. You should relax a little. I am relaxed. It's such a pretty day. You should feel the sun on your skin. What are you... It's just us. My folks are home. I should probably be going. Uh, see you at school tomorrow? <laughs> I don't go to school. Um, see you around? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. Okay, yeah. I need to talk to you. Damn it, Vanessa, I told you don't come up on the job like this. Hey, what's up? I spoke to my grandmother about your house last night. Yeah? Eric, you need to be careful. Be careful about what? She told me the history on your house. It is not good, Eric. What are you talking about? She said that your home was built over a foundation of an old plantation home that burnt down during the Civil War. Okay. Former slaves, they pass down stories about the terrible things that happened down in that basement to them. Unspeakable things. I mean, thank you for the history lesson. I just don't see how this affects me. The slaves revolted. They locked the family in the basement, and then they burnt down the house. There are very evil forces at work in your home. You and your family are not safe. Sorry, I just, I think this is all a little ridiculous. Vanessa, go home. All right, you're right. I'm leaving. I shouldn't have bothered you, Eric. It's OK. Hey, sweetie. What are you up to? Who are you talking to? No one.
do not take this thing out of the trash again. Go to bed. You shouldn't do that. Please don't be mad at her. She doesn't understand. But she will. I promise. Love you. All right, let's go, kiddos. Breakfast is delicious, Mom. Love you. Love you. <gasps> Bye, sweetie. Sometimes they wake up. Hey, honey. Hey, babe. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. I, I just keep hearing noises upstairs. Sounds like someone's walking around. Squirrel probably just found its way in. I'll take a look when I get home. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. Um, all right. I'm sorry to bother you. I'll see you later. Love you.
be kidding. Damn it. Feels like you got a little car trouble. Yeah. I, I don't know what's going on. And of course, I have an appointment I need to get to. Pop the hood. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Great. Thank you. Give it a try. Thank you so much. Happy help neighbor. <laughs> Glad to hear y'all moved in. Houses ain't meant to sit empty. Especially that one. Yeah, uh, well, thank you again. Uh, I have an appointment I need to get to. I'm out for your little neighborly advice. Don't listen to the niggas around you. They tell lots of lies. I, I have to go. I know. I just feel so guilty. Guilty about what? Alice. Many parents who lose a child have feelings of guilt. That's normal. But it's not your fault that your daughter died. Actually, it is. Why do you feel that way? It was a Saturday. Eric had taken April and Andrew to the zoo that morning. Alice wasn't feeling well, so we stayed home. Go on. I was so sleepy that morning. I put Alice in her room. And I went to lay down to take a nap. And I told Alice if she needed anything to come and wake me up. What happened, Rachel? When I woke up, I, I went to check on Alice, but she wasn't in her room. everywhere and I couldn't find her it's okay tell me what happened next I ran into the backyard and I saw her floating in our pool She drowned while I was supposed to be watching her. You can't blame yourself. Who else is there to blame? Go! It'll do you guys good. Sounds good. God, Andrew will be safe with me. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Have fun. We will.
Hi. <laughs> wow. You look nice. Nice. Not exactly the look I was going for. Uh, what I meant, I just, I meant like you, you know. Shh. I get it. So, do you have a boyfriend? Oh, not really. Not really? I, I mean, I had one back home. Did you guys ever do it? Do it? Like, sex? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, no. Really? Uh, have you ever been with a boy? Uh, no. Have you ever been with a girl? Uh, of course not. Have you ever been curious? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, I, I guess. I just... When are mom and dad coming home? I don't know. They went to a late movie, so it'll be a while. I'm bored. Can you come read to me? No, I'm busy. Doing what? Uh, just talking. You should come read to me. I said I'm busy. If you don't want to come read to me, just say so. Sorry, he can be a little annoying sometimes. Let's go somewhere a little more private. My brother's not allowed upstairs. Your brother shouldn't bother us here. <laughs> you are a beautiful girl. You really think so? I do. God has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Kids are sleeping. I hope so. I'm gonna go check on them. Mm. Wait for you in bed. Hello? You shouldn't be sleeping. Bad things happen when you sleep. Morning, sweetheart. Hey, baby. I'm fine.
I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get the kids so we can eat. Okay. Andrew, sweetie. Playing hide and seek? Well, that game only works when you have someone else to play with. I know. Okay, baby. Time for dinner. Our class needs three chaperones for the field trip. I was thinking you might want to be one. Mom. What, what do, do you think? think? It might be fun. What might be fun? Nothing. Come back. We're not supposed to be out here. That's enough. Nobody He's heard have. enough, Rachel. <laughs> you really scared us. I can promise you're never gonna do that again. Pinky? All right, go get some sleep. scary, but Andrew's fine. I'll put some childproof locks on all the doors, right? Come here. Come here. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I think you made her angry. 
Who, baby? You know who. Things don't feel right in this house. Rachel. It doesn't feel safe. I know tonight scared you. I think I want the pool filled in. You know how much value that brings to the house? I don't care. I want it gone. Okay. Okay. If it makes you feel better, I'll get somebody here as soon as I can. The sooner, the better. Andrew, time for breakfast. Mom's been really off lately. She's just tired, that's all. I don't wanna go through what we went through before. Me neither, baby. Me neither. Excuse me a second, guys. Hey, honey, I'm in the middle of an important meeting. Eric, I need you to come home now. Okay, well, what's wrong? I can't stay here. This place is... Hey, calm down. What's going on? I have something to show you. Something I can't explain. Okay, listen, I'll be home as soon as I can, all right? But I have to finish this up. Never mind. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I think I'm being haunted by Alice. You don't really believe that, do you? I keep seeing things and hearing things. I can't explain scary things. These are just manifestations of grief. No, no, doctor, I, I have proof. Listen to this. That sounds like a young man with a vivid imagination. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand. I, I, I heard it. It, it. it was a little girl's voice. She was talking to my son. Sometimes our minds make up things that we want to hear. Uh, no, that's not what's happening. I, I don't want to hear anything. What you're seeing and hearing is your subconscious trying to deal with your grief. But it all seems so real. It's completely normal. Tell me, what have you and your family done to come to terms with your daughter's death? Nothing, really. We just pretend like it never happened. That's not healthy. Embrace that your daughter was a part of your life. 
Do you still have some of her things? Yeah, but they're all packed away. Create a special place where the family can remember Alice. Put some of her things there. Think of it as a memorial to her life. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to write you a prescription for some medicine that will help alleviate any anxiety that you may be feeling. Thank you. Can I come in? Yeah, but you have to be quiet. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. I don't want to play anymore. No, really. I'm serious. No, I don't want to play with them either. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Gross. I think it's delicious. And then my other favorite, do you guys like dairy-free things? Yes. Um, like, you know how there's like almond milk, oat. May I help you? I'm Josephine Williams, Vanessa Williams' grandmother. We need to talk. I fear for your safety, your family's safety. Mrs. Williams, what exactly are you talking about? Savannah has a history you can read about in the textbooks, but there's also another history most folks ain't privy to. A dangerous, otherworldly history. Voodoo, magic, demons. Only a select few know the truth. I'm sorry, but why exactly are you telling me this? I heard stories about this piece of land when I was a little girl. I was told never to come here. You're starting to scare me. Good. You should be scared. Long before this house stood here, there was another house, a slave-owning house. My great-granddaddy worked the fields that used to grow outside. He and the other slaves heard rumors about what was under here. What are you talking about? You've seen things, haven't you? Dark things. I know you have. You fancy white folks like to pretend like it doesn't exist. But deep down, you know it does. There are many names for it. The Abyss. Gehenna, perdition, the pit. Most folks today call it hell. 
if you're trying to convert me to Christianity or whatever it is, you're wasting your time because I'm not really the religious type. Fallen ones aren't meant for this world. Hell's walls are supposed to protect us from them. There are breaches in the walls of hell. And one of them lies beneath this house. This is crazy. The fallen ones change people, change the family that used to live here. They got out before it consumed them. I think I've heard enough of this nonsense. And it changed that first family that used to live here over 150 years ago. The fallen ones drove them to commit unspeakable horrors against their slaves down in that basement. That white family thought it would appease them. It didn't work. It never does. My children are going to be home soon, and I don't want you scaring them, so I need you to leave. They'll change you too, unless you get out while you still can. Please go. Whatever you do, stay out of that basement. You've got to be kidding me. He's the only friend I've made here. You sound like a 14-year-old. Yeah, well, you're acting like one. That woman was offensive. I don't want her or her kind around my family. Her kind? Oh, oh my God, you know what I mean. I, I, I don't want my children exposed to all that weird voodoo shit. They are not welcome in my house. Oh, so now it's your house. Who the fuck is working every day to pay for it? So what I do doesn't... having something to drink. Y'all can go back to arguing now. I'm sorry I said those things. I didn't mean it. I miss you. I told you I could find the path. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. How much further? I'm not a woodsy kind of girl. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> What the hell? Isn't it sexy? Uh, no, not at all. Why is there a cemetery in the woods in the back of my house? There used to be an old plantation near here. This is where they buried the family members and the slaves. How creepy. It makes me wet. Uh, it doesn't do that for me. Can we just get out of here? Come on, just give it a chance. At least let me show you around. All right, but we have to be quick.
May I help you? I see you again. Your husband asked me to stop by. Well, he won't be home until later. Oh, I ain't here to see him. He said something about doing a little work upstairs. My little girl's room. Oh, yes. Yes, let me show you where it is. About the other day, I'm sorry how I left. I just needed to get to an appointment. Ain't hey, a problem. We all got places we're trying to get to. I mean, to be honest, I was a little shocked by the language you used. For African Americans? Oh, niggas. I didn't mean to offend you. That's just how I was raised. My daddy called him that, and his daddy called him that. Well, just because your family used that kind of vile language doesn't give you an excuse to use it. The world has changed a lot since your grandfather's time, and for the better. <laughs> you know what they say about the South? The times may change, but the people don't. But if it makes you feel better, I'll refrain from using that word. Thank you. So, what are we doing in this room? We'd like it to be something special, a place for our youngest daughter's things. A few sheets of drywall and a little paint. You'll have a pretty little girl's room in no time. That is the best news I've heard since, well, since we moved here. I'll grab my tools, a few supplies, and, uh, I get to it. I'm ready to go now. Not yet. <sighs> I've always wanted to fuck in a cemetery. That makes one of those. It'll be hot. No, this is creepy. I just trust me. You're gonna like it. Get off of me. Are you out of your mind? I'm sorry, I thought you'd like it. Well, I don't. April.
Moments go by you time will rain And if that time will rain turns brass Moments go by you looking glass And if that looking glass gets broke Moments go by you pretty cold Hush, my darling, go to sleep. Oh, you angel weep. Good morning. Where have you been? I was being a mother to my child. Okay, that's very nurturing of you. So I was thinking, maybe we could just stay in bed today. Play around? I'm taking the children to the park this morning. Her soul is broken, Mama. Andrew, I don't know where you're hearing these things. That's why she came back from the dark place. There is no dark place, sweetie. I'm scared for all of us. There's nothing to be scared of. She didn't come back alone. Hi, Lilith. Um, I'm really sorry I freaked out the other day. I really miss you. Can you please call me back? Whoa! Oh, shit! Hi, Mr. Angkor. I I'm sorry, I didn't, um... I didn't know anyone was out here. What exactly are you doing out here? With no clothes on? I was hoping to get wet. Who are you? I live close by. I'm Lilith. I've been watching you since you moved in. I've been waiting for you to be alone so I can introduce myself. You shouldn't be in the pool with me like this. You don't like me being in the pool with you? This isn't right. You should leave. Mom. I really need to talk to you about something. I met a girl. And I like her. Uh -huh. What I mean is, like, I really like her. More than a friend, and... I don't really know what to do about it. I just... I don't know what to do about it. Oh, my God. Mom! Where is she? Where is she? What were you thinking? Andrew, what were you thinking? You can... You... What is wrong with you? Look at me! What were you thinking? Look, you just... You need to go, okay? I can't believe... Just go. You're no fun. Come back in the water. Really, you need to leave. Now. What a shame. I'm all wet. Please just go. I need to leave. Are you really not going to fuck me? No, I'm not. I have a wife, I have a family. This is wrong. Please, please just go. All right, Mr. Raincourt. I'll leave. I'd hate to do anything to mess up your precious family.
Hello. Is she okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. Hey, I'm uh, Rachel's husband here at Grand Court. Mm -hmm. What happened to me? Is she okay? Yes, physically she's fine. We called you because we were concerned about her driving home. What happened? Your wife claims she saw your son push a young girl into the lake. She dove in to save her. Mr. Rancourt, there were a dozen other witnesses out here. And no one else saw this little girl. Is your wife taking any medications? No, uh, she's just... She's just been under a lot of stress. Thank you. starting to do it again. Sleeping all the time. Acting weird. I know. I'm gonna talk to her. Who is it, Daddy? Uh, that's just someone from work. I don't know how you got this number, but I don't want you to call or text me ever again. Do you understand? Well, I would have called Rachel, but I didn't want to wake her up. Fuck you. It would be a shame if Rachel knew about our little pool party. She's so fragile. All right. All right. Just leave my wife out of this. What do you want? Do you know what would be really hot? What? If you tied me up and fucked me in your basement. Vanessa, you can't keep coming on the job site like this. Vanessa, if this is about your grandmother, I'm really just not interested. It is not about my grandmother. It is about me. I have been having visions about your house. Really? I don't care. I have seen some of the most disturbing images, terrifying, sinister things. I'm just, I'm just not in the mood for your ghost stories. Eric, what's in your basement? It is not a dead human. It is not a ghost. It is something darker, something dangerous. I don't have a fucking basement. I don't have a goddamn basement. There's nothing evil about my house. Haven't you wondered why your house was never finished? Enough, Vanessa. Just go. What are you talking about? Don't you want to know why the last owners left without finishing the house? No. This has gone too far. Vanessa, go home. Now. I'm sorry, man.
Hello? Rachel? Dr. Livingston. I was calling to check on you. You missed our last appointment. Just making sure everything is okay. Everything's perfect. Really? That's great. We followed your advice. My husband decorated one of the bedrooms just like the one Alice had when she was alive. Well, that's not exactly what I advised, but I'm glad you're doing well. When can we reschedule your next appointment? I don't need any more appointments. I'm doing much, much better. But thank you for all your help. Rachel, I don't think that that... It's time. Follow me, Mommy. Almost, Mommy. I thought I heard something. I wanted to make sure Andrew is all right. Why do you have a knife? Hmm. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I... Come on. Come on, let's go back to bed. So, April, SATs are coming up. You start studying? Yeah, Dad. How about you, buddy? School going okay? Yes, sir. Okay. We should probably get going. Bye. May I speak with Dr. Livingston, please? Hi, Lilith. Um, this is April. Um, things are really weird at home right now, and I need someone to talk to. Could you just meet me at the cemetery after school? Please?
Have a seat, Mr. Rancourt. I'm really worried about Rachel. I think she might be dangerous. Dangerous? Rachel hasn't handled the death of your daughter very well, but I see no indication that she's dangerous. What did you say? Rachel hasn't coped very well with the death of Alice. Who the fuck is Alice? Rachel said your daughter Alice drowned in the pool at your last house and that's why you moved to Savannah. I have to go. April, I need you to call me back as soon as you get this, okay? It's important. James, hey, uh, it, I need to speak with Vanessa. Uh, yeah. Sure, just a second. Vanessa, Eric wants to talk to you. Hello? Why did they leave the house unfinished? The family that lived there, what happened? Uh, the family moved in when the father was still working on the house. Strange things started to happen almost when their daughter drowned in the pool in the middle of the night. They knew they had to leave. Oh my god. Rachel! 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 Andrew! Rachel? Hey, where are the kids? Where are the kids? It's okay. They're playing. Where? Where are they playing? With their friends. In the basement. What basement? Rachel! Where's the fucking basement? Don't worry. Their friends are so nice. How do I get to the goddamn basement? Andrew's such a good boy. You talk to them first.
go. What the fuck? I'd like to make a toast. This party has been a long time in the making. I want to thank all of you for being here tonight and my home to help celebrate. I especially want to thank my beautiful daughter, Lilith. She has worked so hard for so many years to protect this house from the interlopers and the carpetbaggers. Unfortunately, there is someone among us tonight who is not invited. Someone who is not like us. Someone who is a trespasser. But worse than that, he's a nigger lover. Not only did he invite that kind into my home, let them sit at the dinner table and eat like regular goddamn people. I know what you're talking about. I've never been here before. <laughs> Why are you in my house? This ain't your house. It's my house. What do you, what do you want? April! Get you out!
so fragile. You shouldn't do bad things behind your back. Grateful that you've done. 